everybody welcome back to my channel so in this video I'm gonna be talking about five uh pros and five cons to going to George Mason more specifically what are my five favorite things about going to George Mason and my least favorite things about going to George Mason so I made a list so we're gonna start with hmm, should we at least start with least favorite or most favorite let's get the negatives out the way so we'll start with least favorite so one of my least favorite things about going to George Mason are the food options um so i'm a picky eater so this might be very biased i know there are probably some people who love the food options on campus but i feel like our campus in comparison to other campuses our food options stink and i think it's because in northern virginia a lot of people that live in that area are very health conscious so a lot of the food at george mason is on the healthy side and not to say that i don't want to eat healthy but there just aren't a lot of options for me um, that I eat. Um, I love like Southern food. I love um, just like, I don't wanna say like greasy food because that sounds bad, but I like food that tastes really good. And you know, I have seen other college campuses have like Pizza Hut and kfc on their campus the only places that you can get wings on campus is red hot and blue which no one really goes to red hot and blue i used to go there a lot um i you know i was just getting ready to say i wanted to start going back but i can't because school's canceled um but yeah red hot and blue which is like on the soul food side i guess out of everything that's on campus mind you i'm not saying that red hot and blue is the go-to soul food spot because it's not um but yeah uh let's see wings um well in wing zone and i don't know about y'all but wing zone every time i eat wing zone it messes up my stomach heavy like wing zone screws my stomach up they take so long to cook the food they take like almost an hour to cook the food and sometimes the food be overcooked or it's you know not cooked enough and it's just huh it's just yeah so honestly like wing zone would be my go-to place to eat because i just i love like wings and chicken but wings don't be messing up my stomach and you can get wings from manhattan i believe but i haven't had their wings yet but i heard that they're relatively good so you know but the food options on campus is just a lot of the same thing chicken tenders uh I mean, Chipotle offers like a variety of options, so does Panera. So like I said, this is just like my biased opinion because I don't eat a lot of that stuff. So, you know, and they do have steak and shake and stuff like that. But it's like over, over a long period of time, you get sick and tired of eating all of that stuff. And I just feel like it's not that much, that many food places. And I found out recently, actually, that George Mason, like literally the, the year before I got there, so the year before and prior, they used to have a Burger King, they used to have a Taco Bell, they used to have an Auntie Anne's, Auntie Annie's, I, I keep forgetting which one it, it is, but the pretzel place, they had all of that on campus, on campus, readily available for your bonus bucks. And apparently the students, took a survey and wanted to get rid of all that stuff and bring in healthier options i don't know what students voted to get get rid of burger king on campus and i guarantee you that most of the students that voted for that are probably already graduated and off the campus so we need to bring back some of the favorites because no like i like no like we need more options more affordable options like yeah but anyway I digress um the next thing i don't like about george mason are the clicks so um, i don't know if i've talked about this in previous videos or not but i've definitely talked to a lot of my friends about this and george mason is very clickish. it's all about who you know before even going to george mason like when i went to george mason i went there with an open mind and a clean plate i was open to meeting everybody i wanted to be friends with everybody i didn't care what you look like what you were into i just wanted to make friends but a lot of people 
made their friend groups before getting on campus so it, it was almost like i didn't have a chance to even um make like a close bond with them because they already had their set of people and you know it became one of those things where if they were going to an event or a party or whatever their group would be their main priority and i would never get invited to anything because i wasn't a part of anybody's like clique or group and i still feel like the clique thing is real especially in within black mason like, there are a lot of cliques there's a lot of popular people and it's just hard to make friends on campus and that's why i definitely encourage freshmen to join groups that um are of your interest um they have so many groups on campus which is good i'm gonna get into that later actually with my uh favorite things about george mason is the amount of groups that you can join on campus that really is the main way i've been able to make friends is through groups and going to events and sometimes like the dorms too but i feel like freshman year is easier i made a whole lot of friends on my uh freshman hall in like in the dorm but like on my like floor because my ra constantly made events for us to go to for us to talk to each other and meet each other more and you have sometimes like these monthly meetings too where you like meet together in the hallway so i got to see them a lot and we just became friends just like naturally and organically but when you're an upperclassman you're ra like they make they make plans and stuff but you don't have like an ra per floor you aren't um there aren't like floor events and stuff like that it's like they have they put on events and you go if you want to but if you don't you don't and with you know as an introvert like me like i don't tend to go to events unless i'm going with someone that i already know and my roommates didn't really go to any events like that so i just stayed at the dorm um but yeah so the third thing that i don't like about church mason is the cost obviously i actually just made a video i don't know which one is going to go first but i just made a video on the financial aspect of george mason and how costly it is everything costs so much money the parking pass even though i don't drive yet but i have friends who do drive and they have to pay like 600 700 800 dollars for a parking pass and i was looking at my uh student loan debt and it like you know breaks down the cost of everything they charged me for books and supplies and my whole thing is like so you're charging me fees for my books but that money i wasn't able to use that money for my books if that makes sense like they said that i owed 500 dollars in books but they didn't give me that $500 to pay for my books. So I owe that $500 plus the actual money that I spent on my books. And how can you dis determine how much my books cost? Like, it's, just, it's weird. Like, it's like every little thing you got to pay for. I'm sure some of, my, some of my money is going towards the basketball team, which, whatever. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. It's just, George Mason just cost. And I know every college costs a lot of money but i've done like the comparisons and george mason is just ridiculously up there it's ridiculous um so the fourth thing is the lack of school spirit now again when i let me tell you something i was an eager beaver when i went to george mason like my freshman year because i just was so ready for everything i was ready to make new friends i was ready to go to events I was ready for the basketball games and I noticed that there are some die-hard Patriot fans but there are a lot of people who don't be going to the basketball games and it's crazy because I actually put in the effort into learning the basketball chant and when they would do the basketball chant at the games I was the only one doing it like I would look around in the stands and no one was doing the chant and i'm like why am i the only one like cheering like i was like the only one with school spirit and i just wish that the school spirit was more prevalent like i feel like on other campuses like um virginia tech and james madison 
their school spirit for their football teams are just so high and so up there everybody is dressed in the colors they got face paint it's like a whole event for their games and i feel like george mason just doesn't do that i mean you do feel it a little bit when you're in the arena but as far as on the campus you don't feel it like even with homecoming like yeah you feel it more on homecoming days but people are only really concerned with getting drunk and what they're going to do after the game or or pre-gaming or you know the tailgate they don't really care about the actual game so i wish there was more school spirit on the campus and the final thing for my least favorite things of George, about george mason is just like the type of people who go there like the people who are from northern virginia i feel like the northern virginia culture just doesn't fit like me um i feel like people in northern virginia have like one track minds they don't really go out of their way to help other people like i've had to like explain to people like you know as like i've had to how do i put this like i've had to explain the importance of not only just being compassionate but also i guess like i don't want to say just being there for people but um people don't like to go out of their way to do stuff for others that i've noticed from from northern virginia like people don't like to hold the door people don't like to just do stuff it's like people can know that you're struggling but unless you tell them like hey i'm struggling i need help they won't help you um i just noted that noticed that with people that i've interacted with who are from there okay so yeah like i was saying i hate begging people to do stuff for me because for me like i'm always open and readily available to do stuff for other people and i feel like it's not always like you know reciprocated and you know like i'm just i think i'm just naturally like just a really giving person so to deal with people who aren't like that was like a big culture shock culture shock for me but anyway so now we talk about the negative stuff let's get into the positive stuff so one of the my most favorite things about george mason are the dorms actually like i don't mind the dorms um even though my freshman dorm commonwealth looked like a prison <laughs> but the upperclassmen dorms actually don't look that bad um i know northern neck is very like spacious and a lot of the newer dorms like hampton roads and eastern shore like they just look really really nice and i feel comfortable in those dorms i know there are some college campuses that have dorms that are like run down i'm glad i don't have that issue but well the townhouses i've heard the townhouses are kind of rough but yeah um i do enjoy living in the dorms um another one of my favorite things um are the variety of majors you can choose from this is like a pro and a con for me because there are so many things that i want to do but one of the reasons why i picked george mason is because they had like everything that i would want to do um i went in as a game design major and george mason is the only college in virginia that offers game design specifically as a major that you can get a degree in so i really like all of the options that you can have um at george mason it's very easy to double major a lot of people are double majoring because they offer so many different um degree programs that are just really interesting especially their minors i love like all of their minors and their certificates and stuff like that so i really like that another pro to going to george mason are actually the professors i've gotten really really lucky i've gotten like amazing professors and you know i do use right my professor so i don't go i don't go into it blind if i can help it but I do think that I'm getting like the best education um, that I can get at George Mason. Um, I just, I've loved all my teachers. They're very interactive. They make you feel really comfortable in the classroom. And I'm actually learning, like for once, I feel like I'm actually learning stuff and I'm not just memorizing things. So I'm really enjoying like my professors and actually learning. School has just always been like that for me. Um, I also enjoy 
or I also really appreciate the amount of clubs and organizations on campus and George Mason is really open about like making your own club and just having a club about just any and everything there are so many clubs on campus and that's why I always say to try and get involved in clubs that pertain to your interests there's a club for almost every single major on campus there are clubs for video games there's clubs for you know like watching tv shows like the bachelor like there are so many clubs on campus to choose from and you know there's just there's something for you so i really like that i also like the clubs that are focused on people's like um i guess you could say like race or nationality like there's clubs for black people asian people hispanic people like i really like that there is always a place for you so i really like that and also the diversity i picked george mason because it's one of the most diverse colleges in virginia aside from vcu um i really like the diversity i like that there's people of all kinds you know everywhere like i don't i don't walk on campus and just see one type of person everywhere i see all different kinds of people walking you know in the classroom that's a little bit different it's definitely different um in the classroom i do i definitely see more of one particular race in my classes but when you're walking on campus there it's just so many different people on campus and i really appreciate that because my high school i won't say it was the most diverse but it was pretty diverse i had friends from different countries and different ethnicities at my high school and I, I wanted that in a college. That's why I chose George Mason. But yeah, those are my five pros and cons to going to George Mason University. If you guys if you guys have any pros and cons um, about you know going to George Mason or tell me what college you guys go to. If you guys go to a different college, let me know in the comments down below and also let me know what other videos you guys want me to do on this channel make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next video bye